patch on your shirt pat or is that just like a perfect no on your armpit it's like a the other one it's a perfect sweat stain from dead on that looks like it's um like an ombre like it's it's just intentional and thank you for coming today thank you for obviously working hard thank you for having me as you usually do our guest today, return guest. This isn't your third time, is it? Third time. Holy shit. Holy shit. You're the new co-host. That's a hat trick. It's honored. I appreciate it. <laughs> I do that too where I only get the sweat out of one I'm a woman, everybody. Thing. Oh, he's got it out of two. Because yeah. I sometimes get sweat out of just one armpit, this one, and Me I too. don't know why that is. Or I'll sweat heavier on one side for yeah. sure. Me too. And also there's like, it, it doesn't smell quite right. I took a class strong today. We've taken this class yeah. together. There's a different teacher. She's this little Australian chick. Nice. And I went out to compliment the way that she she structured her class today because it's a performance yeah it really is like when we would take those classes and see the teachers like you see when someone put time into it yep. threw their back into it and yes. then you see when there's a spin instructor literally being like all right guys like look forward like, <laughs> which is something a spin instructor said He's one like, time hey guys like remember you have a body right he literally it was you're a, on a bike <laughs> it was a 10 a.m class on a sunday and i was Maple. like we are so like, this should be electrifying that people are even here. And then he was just like, after yeah. a minute of pedaling, he's like, all right, guys, like, all right. Uh, face hey, forward. You're not the bot. This isn't about you. Oh. You want to go in my room? You want to go in the room? Well, we should address the fact that last time Emma was here, there was a different doggy. Emma, this is, a, is this the first time you're meeting Mabel? I met her one time at the stand. Oh, wait, I didn't bring her to this stand. Are you did sure? I? I think you did because you were dropping her off to get babysat or doggy sat. I think. Didn't you? Am I crazy? I've had so many concussions that, like, I wish I, I knew. Ha- I think like, so, too. I don't even know where I am half the time. <laughs> What's going on? I've only had one concussion. Or have I? you been here before? And have you been here before? I've been here before. <laughs> you guys, I've had nine concussions, and I use that as an, ex- as an excuse. For have my, you really? For my current marijuana use. <laughs> it just dawned on me. <laughs> what an excuser. Thanks, Pat. She doesn't need so much peanut butter. We want to try to keep the uh, poops as solid as possible. We can also throw her in my room. She doesn't really bark. If she does, it's like 10 times. Do you kiss her on the mouth? I lick her everywhere. Me too. Yeah. I, I feel like I... <laughs> I feel like I saw someone do a joke about like crazy white people kissing the dog. And I was like kissing a dog while oh they were saying like, it. Ah. I kiss everyone. Else. I'm like, nothing would have surprised me less than if like one day you're like, Karen Fian face gets ripped off by a pit bull. Sure. At, at the park that I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> little baby, little baby. <laughs> so you took the class. Was, was she like better than? I'll be honest, mm. you know, and like, I'm sure she listens. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> um, but I, at first, wasn't a big fan. Here's the thing about Equinox. They have a shit ton of hit classes, um, a lot of like aerobic. And hits like, and hits like, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's like. High it, intensity interval training, right? Boom, there so, we go. But it's like a lot of cardio mixed in with a good amount of strength training. Yes. If you lift kind of heavy, like. I think. Yes. Sometimes I see people in there with like, you know, like five, eight pound weights. And it's like, if, unless hey, it's your first class. You got to start somewhere. I'm always going to be good cop. Also, <laughs> because sometimes you have an injury. Because I've sure, been sure, only sure, using sure, like sure, seven sure, pound weights because my, my feel a little tension in my chest. Sometimes, yeah, my upper body, if my shoulder's bothering me, I'll yeah. drop down from a 15 to a 12, five. But you pack it in. I've seen Karen use like 30, 40 pound. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's. Well, when I'm doing like deadlifts and stuff and like squats, they're, they're not that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, combined, they might be. 40, 45, 50 pounds, whatever. The point is, <laughs> with like strength, when you're like lifting heavy stuff, you have to recover in between. And sometimes you combine those with the hit style, and sure. you're not getting the same amount of recovery. So it just cuts into your exercise time. Mm. That's why it almost feels luxurious once in a while to like do your own thing and really give yourself enough recovery time. Sure. Like, it's, we're just like our mindset. I think it's we have 45 minutes to work out, and then we're out of there at 10 15. I have a coffee, I take a shit, and I'm wearing. I need to be by 11 or whatever you know that's great that because my mindset I have had I've struggled with that mine will be I'm in there yeah. I'm focused for 10 minutes yep I'm on my phone to- yeah and then all working out yeah it and then I'm hard and then I'm like kind of distracted fail at that. I'm I can when I work out alone I do like a quick warm-up on the bike for like let's say I usually in my head I'm like oh just do 12 minutes and I end up doing like 15 winning that's what it feels like I winning. should do 
Then I go and I split exercises up between upper body, um, lower body, and abs. And you just know you're going to do it? Or is there a part of you that's like, I don't want to do this. And you're like, no, we have to make sacrifices. I'm like, I'll feel so much better after that. Like, I'm going to feel, it's not so only healthy. am I going to feel better after it, I'll feel better probably like five, ten minutes into it. Abs- because a lot of times with my working out, was you, what was you that? You in my room? She sounds like she's just body herself slams. against the wall. <laughs> is she okay? You want to just check on her? Not to be over. She's concussed. Not to be overly bearing, but she didn't bark. Her first thing was to throw herself into the door, which is a little concerning. I mean, I just typically <laughs> she barks. I'm thinking Mabel's so strong that she just went like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She and did. my she whole apartment shook. Totally. <laughs> She's like whatever. What are they called in Lord of the and Planet of the the? Wolves. Oh, I never watched those. In Game of Thrones, the wolves. The wolves. What are the big ones? I Maybe I should look it up. Um, but she she just dropped the heavy bone on the carpet. That's what oh, little oh. baby. Oh, she's having a great time. She's having she's a great like, time. My she's time. Party time. <laughs> she's like podcast. <laughs> I never get so I'm wor- like in such a uh, like zone of working out where I just am doing it where I know I'm gonna feel better afterwards. It's usually like I get I'll usually get where I feel really good and in shape, and then I kind of stop. But so then I like I'm used to like re. That's the cycle I'm in. But I mean, I stay in shape longer now than I used to. But I. That it's kind of like I'll do it and then I'll be like, oh, I'm going to take a break. Yeah, and then I describe you as like the upper echelon of like fit. So now I am. Certainly comedians like that we like hang out. You know what I now mean? Now I am because now I'm now I'm it's now I am. you, me, and Preacher Lawson. Oh, my God. I love him. Can you book What a brush right of breath now, air. Like, beg him to do this podcast. He's a brush of fr- breath of fresh air, I that man. I can't get enough. He's electric. I can't get enough. He really is electric. I the way he moves him. on stage, I'm like, he's yeah. like a dancer. I know. And if you ever like watch him, like I haven't like seen actual footage, but I can only imagine what it looks like with him and Lewis spar or like him and Diego spar. They spar? Yeah, they do like. Fun- what? Or like him and Mike Harrington. No way. <laughs> There's no way. Preacher Lost inspires with those people? Yeah. I don't mean those people, but he's no like, way. He's competed before in an MMA fight. I don't know like at what level or whatever, but yeah, I and I don't think he won. Aren't there some kind of like requirements where it's like they have to yeah, you have to be in the like sin- really hot and like black <laughs> and like Pre- Pre- Preacher Lost. <laughs> he a, makes me stutter. <laughs> he's he's go- he's 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 His incredible. His smile's so beautiful. He's a gorgeous man. I'm in love with him. Is he single? I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care. Yeah. He I'll be spars his second. Lewis. I'll be his, good like, for Lewis. There he is. Oh my god! Look at. He's electric. Yeah. When you when he gets on stage in a club in New York, like wow, shit, that's kind of cool. I should do something like that. No. Oh, I think he just reacted. Oh, he's reacting to his second fight. This is him reacting to himself. Damn. That guy was. He seemed a little scared. So he does reaction videos to his own fights he's on so YouTube. He's so freaking cute. I love him. There you go. Good for him. Sorry. All right. Folks, let's, let's back to Apple. Oh, answer. yeah. Work it out. Work it out. Work it out. Are you allowed to talk about anything you have coming up? No. I think so. Oh, good. I got I got cast in something where I play like a couple lines in a movie that is going to air. I mean, I, I'm assuming it's going to air. Something awful would have to happen. But it's funny because, I mean, I'm excited about it. I had auditioned for it like such a long time ago. That's so, so I'm like, excited. Wait, just, did it's just you nice do, to get like, something. callbacks and everything? No. This was the thing. That's where I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking down the street. Okay. Being like, God damn, son of a bitch. Yeah. And then How being like. How many give me a time frame? Because this is so, like, I think interesting to people who are work in this industry or people who don't. That's like, you auditioned for this a really long time ago. Yeah. And this was, and the other thing is, like you said, you almost always have a whole bunch of callbacks. It, it must be maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's either really low budget or they really like the audition. <laughs> or I don't know. I don't know. The casting it director quit. But they said. They, I did the audition. I kind of forgot about it because normally you do the audition, you don't hear anything, and then sometimes you do hear something. Normally you don't if hear anything. If you're Emma, you hear something. S- sometimes. If you're Karen, <laughs> if you're Karen, you're like ha 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 ha, and then you just go sell a fucking video with your butthole on it. Thank you, Emma. Fucking. Thank you, Emma. Boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> so you, I did the I did the audition <laughs> and then send it in. Forget about it. And I'm walking down the street being like, ah, I have a better attitude, son of a bitch. And then I checked my email and I was like, oh, and it just felt so, it felt really nice because I just haven't, I hadn't, I've been auditioning and hadn't get, been getting anything. And I called my mom and I was like, yeah. You're on cloud nine. I felt good. Yeah. So I called my mom and I was like, mom, like, guess what? I got a couple lines in a movie and, and Robert De Niro's in it. I know she, you're not crying right now, but you're like, whatever just happened, it made it sound like you were. <laughs> 
Uh, I was about to hiccup. And I was like, I just want to like, my fans are really dumb. And like, they'll be like, they'll timestamp this. Like, she's crying. Yeah. I'm that. I'm mo- so moved. <laughs> I wish I could cry for joy. I haven't cried for joy in ever. <laughs> I cry when I see something touching, like Miss Yelly yes, behind the music. That's, you know? I, when you said joy, I was like, I guess I cry when I, like today when I watched the video of the wobbly Mastiff puppy, I was very oh, choked up. I don't even know what that is, but is it a puppy trying to do something that's hard and then them doing it? He has some disease called wangling danger, or dangle wanderer. I'll cry, I'll cry right now. <laughs> Just the description, right? So he's like super bow-legged and he's like, doo, 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 doo. my little sister sent him to me. He's on the Rescue City website. Um, his name's Phoenix. And... Tearjerker. If, if anybody can adopt him, please go ahead. I Anytime think he's in New York. There's like a dog trying to do something. It's so and and they said his condition is only most likely going to get better. It can't. It's not going to get worse, and he's already shown improvements. Mm. So and does she want you to adopt? Him? Of course she does. She wants me to foster him at least. Mabel would be through the roof. Mabel would be like, "You got me a dog." A, a wo- and it wobbles. Wobbler, <laughs> wobbly mastiff. Did you find it? No, wobbly danger, wandered dangler. <laughs> wobbly danger. <laughs> wobbly danger. Dang, danger, wobbly. I gave you the dog's name and the website he's on. Never heard of such a thing. Rescue City. So I wasn't crying, but I called my mom and I, I told her that. And then she went, she was like, Robert De Niro. She was like, it, the are there more than, is there more than one? See, dude, Robert De Niro's in this Aww. movie, guys. There he is. Oh, this is the thing he has. This is a okay, different dog. Okay, he's more healthy than I would have thought. That's a different dog. That's oh. not the one that my sister sent me, but that's the um, thing they have. Is They've got wobbly danger. What is it called, Pat? Ooh. Oh! It's just wobbly syndrome. Get, get up, doggy. Wobblers. Can't they, like... So there's no... Should they take the legs off and give them little wheels? No. Damn, that's What rough. would you rather? Would you rather wobble or be in a wheelchair? Wheelchair, I think. Really? I guess that's easy for me to say, but if, if you can't... I mean, contr- I feel like I'd be a smooth wobbler. That's you why. You think? I, yeah, I'd be like, oh, it's tough. isn't it cute? My step-grandma had something happen where her like knees weren't working, and she's all wobbly okay. now. Well, yeah, both and my knees And wearing wobbly. heels, like she can't Truly. do it. Yeah. And she wa- has to wear t- have two canes. All right. It's not easy. It's I'm not. Getting old. I'm it's tough getting out old. here. She's like in her 80s, and she's still having fun. She's still having like hot pink tights and like I love her. crazy That's heels. That's awesome. And I was like, "You're still wearing I those mean, heels?" You can and get she was the like, "Hardcore fuckets." When you make it to 80, I am like, if I make it to 80, I'm. Are you joking? If I make it to 60, I'm drinking again. <laughs> Absolutely, one more month for me. Come on. Shut the two fuck out. up. Two day, hours and two days. <laughs> My mom thought that there were more than there was more than one Robert De Niro. That was her takeaway. She was um, like, she was like is, "Is it is it the same? Is it the actor? Or is there another one?" I was, and then I was like, "Uh," and then I checked. How do moms do it? How do they do it? How do they do it? Is it? Oh, it is. And she's like, "Oh, that's neat." And then she goes, "I thought he was dead." And I was like, "I mean, I don't think so." She was making me question everything, and then I. Was like, like and then do you like rack your brain? Like, what would it really impress your mom? Like, what show could you be if, on? I know if I got a show on NPR. Right? Wow, she's like, she I mean, wants you to be a nerd. If yeah, for sure. If I got <laughs> a show would be on so NPR, so proud if you were the most successful nerd on the planet. Absolutely. Or if I just got like really into re- if I like was really into recycling and like what? Yeah, and did something about it. I mean, I recycle now. Like you know, whatever. she wants you to lead the environmental charge. She'd be, be really but in a happy. Funny way. Yeah, or even probably, probably we'd have well, to move well, comedy it. out of Write it. Write a little song. <sighs> the world's on fire, but we're having fun. <laughs> Recycling's fun for me, and sh- can be for everyone. <laughs> recycle. No, recycle. Don't timestamp that, Pat. Don't I do see drugs. what you're doing. Because she would something like that. She would be like. She would just feel, I think she'd be really happy with it. And I, she doesn't like me, the traveling around. And then she sees me get frustrated, too. So that I can never call her if I'm, like, frustrated. Because then it's, like, too much fuel to the fire. Yep. You know what I mean? If I'm like, oh, fuck this. I'm going to quit. I'm going to get a food truck. She'll be like, there we go. Yep. Now we're talking. Abs- show business is hard. One time she said this. This was gutting. She said, if you stop now. Everyone would know you try. Oh my god! I was like, you bitch. your mom said but I, that. But I understand. You're like, I'm too. in a movie with Robert De Niro, mom. This is he a lot? Is he the, the dead one? <laughs> my mom is like, it's like getting like there too, like similar. Like it's, sometimes I'm like, oh. what would your mom want you to do if she could pick a dream career? Oh, like my mom thinks wants me to be on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Oh, rough. That's tough. 
Because at least it's like in the same business, but it's like something. Can I be honest? I've never watched that show. It's pretty good. I watched the first season. It was it was entertaining. It was good. It's just like, I don't know. She loves it. Loves it. Wow. But also. At least I, that's like in entertainment, though. It's not like. But she also watches plenty of The Housewives. Mm. And I'm going to start um, The Real Dog Moms of Battery Park City. <laughs> you should. Right? You should. It would be fucking sick. This is me pitching it. Clip this. Would they... Would, would it, the people agree? My dog moms, yes. They're all extremely charismatic and opinionated. And they... Would it be like them and their dogs? Or it'd be like of them... Of course. Them back home? No, it's just like... It's legit. Like, we wouldn't even need that much footage. Because sure. Because so much drama is drummed up on Are a there any daily basis. dog moms you guys don't like? Wow. You'll have to watch the show. Are there any dog moms that show up drunk? <laughs> There might be a dog dad who shows up intoxicated really? once in a while. I don't know. You didn't hear it from me. Hey, you didn't hear I love I love getting involved in a community and gossiping. It's I it's never so, knew how much it was meant for me. It's so <laughs> fun. And also you should be really proud of yourself that you were able to do that in New York. Because finding a community of people where like you talk shit regularly and have reference points to the other people. Oh my god, it's heaven. You need common like when I worked in an office before I got fired, every single time I got fired probably for this reason i lit up if it yeah. was like someone i was like kind of friends with was like you want to go get coffee i'd be like yes <laughs> and then we yeah. would just talk about people yeah and it's like you're in there every day so I you know. get to be like well, fucking it's dog so at this good. photocopy machine today and be like, and oh. the other beautiful thing is like dogs are even better than children i think sure they also like it's, well for a lot of reasons i just thought of my niece and nephew but i it's yeah i get oh, it i love my niece and nephew yeah. too God nephew z i have two nephews Zuh. um it's like there's a few things. Like, first of all, the dog is like a, a recreation responsibility mm-hmm. in a way. So it's like, you know, you're just like instantly kind of like minded that like with your free time, you choose totally. to enrich another sentient being. It feels like you already know about the person. Yeah. Just like on a like foundation level. Yes. And then, yeah, not everybody's going to have that's That's sort of like a great equalizer because with that's the baseline. Right. But then like you've got some different political beliefs up mm. in there. You've got some conservatives, some more liberal. Some Do you guys talk politics at the dog park? We try not to. <laughs> we certainly, you know, funny things happen like when we are the dog mom like pack and maybe we're at another place like the pool and there's people, they're regular moms, I guess you'd call them. <laughs> You mean people with kids? Yeah. <laughs> we're like, you're like, what are those people <laughs> with the, I don't know how they identify something. I don't want to do miss with, gender. Yeah, I don't want to miss, I don't want to <laughs> miss, what is it with the, with the baby? I don't want to misname them, I mean. Old I just, school moms. You see them around. You see them around. You hear of their existence. And like their, you know, <laughs> their thing that, that they're responsible for can be, you know. The a, kid. A real noise pollutant. Uh, you know, we had a real a screamer the other day at the pool. And, you know, during the... Were they the, was the kid okay? During the pool time, dogs are napping. So dog sure. moms, we're, we don't have we don't have to right. have them everywhere. Right. They're not like, oh, they don't yeah. need us all the time. I get it. But the kid, yeah, was screaming, had a t- had tantr- temper tantrum. No big deal. Did um, the parent deal with it well? She did. Um, I said, hey, does anybody have a tennis ball? Uh, that killed with the dog moms. <laughs> uh, real icy from everybody else. <laughs> then the truth is the dad was being a douche. Uh, um, the mom had like two young kids so that one was kind of having a meltdown and then the other one was kind of having like a wine fest. Mm. And all the dad had to do was really like remove the wine fest kid. Uh, but he just sat there like a fucking asshole um, and let her be sort of embarrassed in, in public. Tough. Yeah. Men are scum. That when I see someone like discipline their kids, I'm like, that's some pro parenting. Cause I was with my sure. niece and nephew a couple weeks ago in Massachusetts playtime. And my niece is, they're like pretty close in age. And I was like, okay guys, now I'm going to like lay down. And they like came and lay with me. And then my nephew was like screaming and screaming. And then my sister's husband came in. He's like, okay guys, like that's it. Like remember playtime's over. You played with them nice. for a couple hours. My niece burst into tears yeah like that type of visceral Ooh, that's my girl from love the soul. An actress. i mean it was like Why? it was like that I love like from I the play. to get i just want to play 
like like it's like everything is riding on that like, <laughs> and so i was about to crack i was like ah, oh, oh, it's okay and then he was like no he was like we don't cry when we don't get our way that's not how this works yeah. like downstairs and she was like ah. and <laughs> by the time i heard her going down the stairs it was done and i was like that was some good fucking parenting yeah because that's tough to do oh my god i watch it with my brother and um sister-in-law and everything it's uh are you good at saying no to your niece and nephew i am no. not no we don't have to right i don't know i mean there were yeah i tried the other day because i was like okay i'm gonna blow up one more blue and then she's like one more one more one more this goes oh, on I'm for hours day. one more one exactly and then i was like, like my like whatever i'm like i'm like just somebody bring me snacks while right I'm over here right like, i was like a fake arm wrestling my niece and nephew killing it they probably love that like and then i would let my nephew use both his arms and he would be me <laughs> it's pretty strong for a nine-year-old are they into playing because my niece loves to play um yeah they beat the crap out of me it's awesome she'll be like we're gonna play okay you're the you're the baby and then you walk over here no you don't walk over there like that you walk over here you sit down she's bossy, That's bossy. yeah i like that little type she's like little type a they're great and then like my sister's um my other nephew he's like just started walking and i was like oh my god she sent a video little angel there's no world where you would want to have kids or do you think you would i mean i could be tricked but i mean where would we put it <laughs> what are we doing we're eating oysters that motherfucker was getting me pregnant <laughs> that whole time <laughs> cypher sounds you should be used to be with his whole family in this building mm -hmm. in he did an apartment just like this one really um, you know, you never know what the cards hold. I have, you know, some really handsome new followers on Instagram. Holler. So, I mean, my numbers are, are beautiful. A beautiful site. It's you like, never go on a dating app or were no. you on, you're, you're off of them. Ah! Who the fuck? Ugh. First of all, I don't know who it was. Second of all, they're from Ohio. No. Oh. Who are these people? I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'm no, I'm not going to Ohio. I mean, not this. I'm going to Ohio. <laughs> Can't wait. I, it, Plug. It, it's it's a Ohio. <laughs> it's Ohio, Cleveland, and Columbus. But I don't know when November and December. But I just don't know who would be calling I'm a woman. from Ohio. You know, like that's the problem when you get a number from someone. I, you're si like, I silenced my phone because I was hearing too many messages. Absolutely. This Wait, guy I'm flirting with is 23. He goes, he's like, I'm 23, but I'm hurling t towards 30. That's what he said. That's oh. not good. What it does that mean? He's very, very in debt, which I don't judge. I'm just saying that's what he's it means. He's in debt? Absolutely. Hurling towards 30. He's taking care of his parents. Um, debt. Scoliosis. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's... Wait, you want to? He's not. He's hot. But twenty three is okay. Too but young. He's not okay. It's like if I could be your mom. Twenty three is so. One time I was going on dates with someone who had lied about their age. Yeah. They said that they were twenty six. I put twenty six as the youngest. Okay. They said they were twenty six, but actually they were younger. Now when <gasps> she told me she lied about her age, she was like, "I just want you to know, I lied about my age." I assumed she was gonna say, "I'm older," saying I'm younger, which I would have been kind of whatever. But she was like, "I'm actually twenty three," and I was like, "Oh, like." Ah, so I wasn't gonna meet up. Then we did, and it. Oh, felt, whatever. You really hit it off. Well, but the and I told, whatever when I would tell people. Fine, that, I'll do it. She was cool, but <laughs> fine, when, I'll do it. When I would tell people that, it was the same thing across like gender by a hundred percent. Every yeah. single woman was like, twenty three is really young. Like I don't know about that. Like I wouldn't do it. And every not, there was not one guy from, that course. deviated from this. Not one was of like, course. she's over eighteen. Yeah. That was, there was not one, like, yeah. it could be, even, like, a gay guy. Like, it, it, there yeah. was no He's deviation. He's 75-year-old man. She's over 18. She's over 18. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. But I was like, but, like, developmentally, you're just in a different place. And yeah. they're like, I wouldn't worry about it. And it did feel like we were in a very different place, did too. It? Totally. And the thing is, when you're the older one, then, like, whatever happens, it's kind of like, yeah, but I should have known. Like, it was, it was a very, like, erratic thing. I just feel like it would be hard to, like, Build and grow with somebody sure. who's behind, so far behind you. And they also it would just be like a different dynamic. Like if totally. I had like a poor hot boy move in here, like that would be fine. But like that, <laughs> <laughs> that would get so old. Yeah, you know that's what I why mean. I, Unless he was like really ambitious about like making dinner and cleaning and, cleaning. and taking really good care of Mabel. Mm. But then if I ever found out anything bad happened to Mabel, I'd fucking kill him. Of and course, I'd his family and kill them too. That goes without saying. Um, <laughs> absolutely, you'd have to get doggy cams. You yeah, know? I mean, those can have multiple uses, too. Like, pornographically? What? I didn't know what you were going to say! Not with Mabel, I just mean in general. What do you mean multiple uses? Oh, I'm fucking the shit out of Mabel. No. 
Do you notice the difference having a girl dog and a boy dog? Yeah, they fuck different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, we scissor. Me and Mabel, it's like we're, we're way more connected. <laughs> Ernest just treated me like a fucking cum slut dumpster. Like not a, even like a beep. That Ernest would be such a considerate lover, Ernest actually. Ernest? Now, now I can't stop thinking about it. But now Ernest would be like the most because he's like a gay southern gentleman. <laughs> He's like not out of the closet, so he would have been like, we have to do this once a year. It's fake. I love Ernest so I much. I know. Do you pray to him ever or think of him? You must. Yeah, I think like I maybe I wasn't the best. I could have been done what? better. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. You were like the best dog mom possible. That's not true. You even kept him in the room. He's doing yeah. this right now. He's Truly, what more could you have done? I don't know. Truly. I mean, he was like, a, that was a happy dog. He was a good boy. He was really happy. I just didn't want him to suffer for one second. Of course. You did the right thing 100%. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find a topic to switch on to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I miss Ernest so much. So if you ever have an audition you have to, and you have to cry, you can think about Ernest. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Because I will do that sometimes. <laughs> if I ever have to cry, I'll think, whoa, sex crazed. What? There's there's something that says sex craze sex craze. Oh, what pattern? Are you bringing fly. a topic to the podcast for once? Sex craze lantern. Oh yeah, dude. Have you, they're Where's everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. Oh, the the insects are sex crazed. <laughs> Oh, I Kill thought it was the lantern flies. Oh, it, so in the picture before you click on this, there's a picture of a person. So that fucking sucks for that person because it says sex crazed lantern fly, me? and then there's a human being. Like that sucks. Oh, whatever. Who ca- we don't know. Are you guys killing these? Yeah, they're everywhere though. They haven't they're popped up in my apartment yet. They're, no, no, <laughs> they shouldn't. They're outside. They're outside bugs. Oh, okay, all right. Because there are bugs in my apartment. My place is fucking gross because. <laughs> I'm not there very much. I don't have internet, so I'm you always at my girlfriend's. You probably and have some fruit flies. Oh, to say the least. Yeah, you just got to get rid of um, food and stuff. And uh, those will go away. Yeah. Oh, they're kind of... I wouldn't... You'd kill a bug outside? I stomp on them. What do you Here. mean? You have to. No, not outside. Once they're outside, that's their zone. In here, that's your zone. These well, bugs they're, they're are invading. invading and ruining the ecosystem here. They're from really? Japan. We have to. They're kill from them. Japan. You know all this like biotechno war that people talk about. Yeah, I feel this like this is a weapon of war that the Japanese have. I sent. knew something was gonna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's COVID number two. The bugs have COVID. <laughs> We have to kill these. How do we? Know, how do people find out they're from Japan? Because when they open their wings, they're like, "We are Japanese." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that to, for that to be like someone's job and like so many resources being like they're Japanese bugs and it's like okay, and then what do we? And then people are like, they're bad. They're not good. It's not a good situation. They're killing multiple species of plants. Really. And taking like um, food away from the other bugs that regulate the shit around here and like. Birds and critters that feed off them. So okay, like, so they got to go. Yeah, and I mean, I feel really helpless. Like, I'm, my numbers are not that good. Like, I'm maybe killing, like, one to two a day. That's great. I haven't even you seen think? them. I haven't even seen them to kill. I mean, I guess I live in, like, it's more, like, foresty over here, maybe. Than How was it when you were back visiting your, your parents? And so lovely. Yeah. It was so When I went to go visit my mom this last time, it was so nice. It was... This was kind of we played charades and my family did shut up. We do not play games like but it's so fun. That's why it's so fun when you do. I, every time my family and I play games, I pee my pants. Does, so this was not part of our culture growing up. Like we don't play games. My girlfriend's family play games and she had said to me, she's like, would it be weird if I suggested a game? I was like, you'll be met with blank stares. Like we don't do that. We eat dinner and then everyone goes to bed. Like there's no like. And right. She, she's like, that's so in my family. Like we always like hang out and like drink afterwards. I'm like, we don't. We're all done. We're done. We're done. Like we clocked in. We clocked out. So she brought charades. My mom hated it. <laughs> she was like, first of all, she got drunk and she kind of hit her head. Your so mom. At one point, she was oh like, "Oh my god!" It was it was like ten a.m. No, I mean, it was like uh, it was probably like Saturday at like mm, eleven thirty. So she, she's like sipping, and I was like, "Mom, we're gonna be in a team." And she's like, "I can do it! I can do it!" And she was like, "Oh my god, what?" And then she went like that, and it, it was like boom. We were all like, <gasps> and she was like, "I don't know what this is." And we we're like, "Pause! You just smacked your fucking head." And she was like, <laughs> mom. Yeah, it really hurts. It really does. And then for the rest of the game, she was just like yelling stuff out when it wasn't her turn. That like made oh, no sense. No. She'd be like a wiffle ball, and so we just started ag- <laughs> we just started ignoring her because we were like, all right, she's off the hinges. And then she said, she's on her own team. She she's just, she was like, I hate charades. And then we were just like kind of like mute her. <laughs> Poor Lexi. And Lexi and her mom were like, and I was like, I told you we don't play games in this household because the game is like 
but I think my mom was traumatized by games as a kid, which I understand. I think she played a game with someone and they made fun of her, and now she's bad mem- bad memories about it. My mom is like diehard, like Scrabble, like no, I hate Scrabble, like no Marcy, like playing with like six and nine year olds, like, hilarious, just dominating hilarious. the game. She's like, what is that? Idiot. She's like, like talk shit too. She's like, what is that? Triple, triple letter score. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh, naughty Nana, no, no, naughty Nana. <laughs> They're asking her what the words are. She's giving them words and then being like, that word sucks. Why'd you pick it? They're like, you gave it to me. She's like, this fucking loser. Games are fun. And then, yeah, one year we... Is she the most competitive? Does she win the most? My mom? Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty competitive. When it comes to games like that or sure. like a crossword or like Wordle, she's very good. I've never, as a dyslexic person, things like Scrabble and crossword puzzles, like this will just like never be part of my life. I'm okay at them, but she, she's Ugh. much better than me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was thinking of trying to start doing brain exercises because I keep forgetting stuff. So I was going to do like... You're... You just convinced me I brought Mabel to the stand and I don't know if I ever have. I thought you did. I thought you did, but I don't know. I don't know either. It's such a long, it would be such a long walk. That's true. Then you, you definitely had Ernest at the stand. Although I have walked Mabel to 16th. You've walked Ernest to the stand though. Yeah, a couple times. You know? Yeah. When were your concussions? Because my concussion was in, was in second grade and it was like a doozy. Like my first one was when I broke my wrist when I fell off my bike when I was like eight. Mm. And then they started again in college when I was drinking. Because you'd fall over? All the time. <sighs> So that was like a decade of that. How would you know you had a concussion? You'd just be like... At the hospital, they would say she's concussed. God damn. I have two black eyes. <laughs> concussed. Yeah, my ex used to take pictures of me in the hospital. I'd be like... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> concussed Karen. One time I had a bruise so big... And I had drunkenly, like, at first I made my own margaritas at home. Oh, I used to do that. (laughs) Fucking watch out. I was literally just drinking tequila. Like, there's no margarita involved. (laughs) I'm just drinking tequila and, like, eating salt. So I cut my own bangs. I'm like, no, 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 no. Fucking no. Look at me. And then I busted my head so hard on a goose egg the next day. So, like, I had new bangs that were, like, out to here. (sighs) Brutal. Like, I had a stand up show at the pit. I mean, it was uh, there was like four people in the crowd, but still, and they're like I, that almost makes it more intense. When I like, showed them my <sighs> my goose egg too. I was like, I'm like I'm an alcoholic. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> when there's less people, it makes it more. Because when I didn't of have my course. teeth and I'd be performing for like two people, they'd just be like, <laughs> "What is going on here?" And I'd be like, "You <laughs> tell like, me." Are we in a freak show tent? Yeah, like what is right. it? <laughs> I pulled back my bangs. <laughs> Like, hey, I didn't want to miss the show. It was critical that I was here. And they're like, <laughs> they needed me. <laughs> they needed me. <laughs> Have you gotten a concussion since you were sober? Because I was dead sober when I got La- mine. No, um, no, like, I don't think I got a concussion during this last relapse. Well done. I mean, it's the little thing. <laughs> totally. Amen. Because I got a concussion. I was in second grade. And I remember it so well. I was playing really? on. I remember. I remember everything up. Like, I remember it so I can picture parts of it. I was playing with my friend Tom, and we were on. Don't out, say Tom. It, we were playing with my friend Bond. I was playing with my friend, and him and I were like the two like chubby kids in class. Yeah. And we were outside playing tag. I think we would only play tag with each other because like, we felt comfortable getting winded really quickly. So it was like we, <laughs> we, in we, front of each other. Yeah, we used to do like play in the woods all the time, and so we were, I was like, playing with him. And our other friend Aaron's dad was a carpenter, so we had all these like things laid out in the yard, and we were running and jumping. And there was a board on two ends of a like stump tree stumps, like a seesaw. Yes. Yeah. And Tom was on one, and I yeah. went to go get him, and I jumped on the no, other end. Right as I in. did it, he jumped. I, I, right as I wish that would have been even better. <laughs> right as I jumped onto one end, he jumped off the other one, and that end came up and. <laughs> so I remember it going. Oh, and it hit you. Hit me. I oh remember seeing it because I remember being like. And just pop. And then I was out. And then I remember being like, fuck shit, son of a bitch. And just swearing. And then he ran over to me and I grabbed his leg and was like, did you good, do good, it? Good. And I was like, fucking shit, fuck shit, yeah. fuck. And then he got his mom. And I, I remember her just being like, oh my God, she's swearing so much. And I was like, fucking fuck. That's how you hate that. And my mom shut my finger in a car door once. And I was like, fuck, 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 fuck. fuck, fuck. fuck, fuck. And she's like, Karen. The language on you. This one. I'm like, yeah. open the fucking door. 100%. Like, I'm, I'm going to amputate it. I was just... Lo- and then I went to the hospital, and I remember missing school. Whoa, bad for Like, one. four or five days, Shit. and then I wasn't supposed to lay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when well, I was alone, I would. <laughs> I got him. Self-destructive from the start. My I parents know. would be like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I won't lay down. They'd leave, and I'd be like, I suckers. hate rules. Right. They made my... We had a Japanese exchange student. I think I've told really? this story before. At the time of my first concussion, and my dad made him stare at me so I wouldn't fall asleep. And that was awkward. Maybe that's why you don't like those Japanese bugs. See? 
Yeah. Or who, you know, having, I remember having the concussion because I remember then I would feel like not knowing what was that. He's pulling up a good news story. They were getting divorced because of a dog. Really? Now, let me ask you this. Yeah. So she looks great, but yeah. we, but something looks a little skew in the, where I'm talking about. Her or him. Hit, uh, her. Where I, now everybody's beautiful or, you know, yada, yada. But I'm good. saying, no, she looks great. But does it look like when a she got the plastic surgery? A lot. It's a lot of cheek filler. One side of the face. And then. Because sometimes when you go for perfection like that, it looks. Okay, this is what I'm trying to say because I'm trying not. Sometimes when I see someone who's gotten that much work. Yeah. It, to make for me it makes me almost be like what was going on before like it like if, yeah it's it'll make like, them seem like older to me because i'm like yeah. they got so much work that like i don't know but i mean she Is looks that great when they were younger pat I and mean, they were together a long time yeah and he his work looks great i mean that's her face is untouched but now that's her face when she was younger because also it's like when you start i get it like when you i start getting work when i'm in there i'm like i want more i want more like yeah. i get i want to like keep re-upping it you know yeah, i got fillers she, once that i when i shouldn't go have. back to them now stunning I mean, she's a baddie yeah she's kept she, it together really she's well really she's kept gotta it be what 50 something 60 but do you think if she got less work done she would actually look better no I know that's <laughs> tough crowd for that type of thing, but I wonder if, because maybe if it was a little bit less work, it wouldn't look like. No, because I think gravity would have taken over. I think she's doing not that. She's, she's only 53. She's See, 53. she looks older because of the amount of work. For the audio listeners, we're talking about Sylvester Stallone and Jennifer Oh, thank Flavin. you. Yeah. <laughs> we're talking about my parents. Maybe confused. We just jumped yeah. into it. That, um, so she, I think she looks older because of the amount of work that she got done. I mean... To me, she just sort of looks like plumped up and pulled back. He is handsome. But look at that's her, dude. That's a handsome She's motherfucker. She's like striking. Like She's striking, but he, that's wild. That, he's a man's man. Oh, yeah. He, he's a man's man. Because I always say, too, I'm like, do you know someone like Channing Tatum? Or do they like, who's the guy in the did notebook? It, it Ryan Gosling. Man's yeah. Channing. I say Channing Tatum all day. Channing Tatum with Women these videos Gen- of him kissing Zoe Kravitz. I'm like, oh, Haven't my God. seen it. I can come to this. Really? I heard he's a little what fruity. I love that. I hated it when I heard it. I was like, "Are you mad?" Why? I was so upset. I was like, "No way!" And they were like, "Yeah, he's bisexual." I knew it from a good source. Don't I, quote me, I and won't. I take no responsibility for this. But it was someone in LA that worked on a set, and they said they're like, "Everyone knows that Channing Tatum was bisexual." I said, "I did it," and they're like, "Well, you're not necessarily like in the loop." And I was like, "What? You're not informing the open mic comedians what Channing Tatum's sexuality is?" But, like, I, because I fucking, I mean, look, if he's bisexual, more power to him, good for him. But I just don't, I guess he can never tell. That's a fucking, would you, would you rather him or Ryan Gosling? Him. Good for you. Lots of um, women say Ryan Gosling, but I think he's a, a I'm not even, no, he was amazing in some movies. I shook his hand before. And really? It's really Soft callous. like butter? Ryan Gosling. No, Channing Tatum. Oh, yeah. But Ryan Gosling's hand is butter. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I've never it, take it I've out never. of his pink glove or, maybe or something. Maybe I did actually meet him once because my ex was friends with his sister. They with Ryan Gosling's sister? Yeah. And he was a really sweet guy. And he would, she would go to a lot of his stuff, you know, and sh- she would always like do like the red carpet with him sometimes. Wow. Like he was like a really sweet person. How the hell did you meet Channing Tatum? Um, he was in a movie with the Lucas Brothers. So oh, yeah. I had to go to like the premiere after party thing. Wow. And I, of course, was like, guys. And they were like, Karen, we'll introduce you to Channing. Relax, you slut. I heard recently <sighs> he was in the Stan Green room hanging out. Like, Channing months. Tatum was in the Stan Green room? Don't even joke. A couple months ago. With who? With who? No clue. But I heard he was in there. It was confusing. Really? Yes. That doesn't surprise me that much. Wow. It's so... Do you think that they're going to still be able to have celebrities like that now? Because now everything is so, like, like watered down. And there aren't, like, big movie stars necessarily like there used to be. He's well, almost, To me, almost seems like the last of the... Do you ever feel like, is the concept of an audience finite? Ooh, shit! <laughs> What's finite mean? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Um, because there seems to wait, be... Well, is the concept of an audience finite? Do you know what I mean? Because there seems to be these like... Expo- it's relative. It's ex- this explosion of growth, right? And is the audience an audience when they're not grouped together? Like it, when they're not... Like I guess it's implied when you... Because you can have an audience like literally in a space or the audience is dispersed... And, and the, like you throw like a, like demo, age group, gender into the idea of audience too. And it's like, do... 
how like you're making me want to move my botox <laughs> i'm trying to lift my i'm trying to go lift my eyes up i haven't done this in months i'm literally trying to be like whoa but i can't i just because like I, you just see around you right like certain people and things that like everybody knows about everyone right. Relate, right. relates to knows about and then there's things everyone relates to and those are getting sometimes those are getting farther apart too because it's like you can't die now you just said something so smart right and it, and it's also like now like there's like labels oh did you think i was gonna die because i was choking my phlegm yeah i was like why am i gonna die yeah uh, and then i realized see <laughs> it's, it's the phlegm. just choking my phlegm. no i'm not so smart i try to think about this stuff and then it mostly just like frustrates me, makes me feel yeah. like impotent and helpless. Well, it's definitely, it's kind of like an overwhelming thing. It's also because it's like there's no answer to it, I guess. But there's like things that people relate to and then things that people know, I think are getting like kind of like moved. Oh, like everyone right. knows Kim Kardashian. Does everyone relate to her? Maybe they do. I don't know. I honestly have not. I only watched like one. I watched a couple episodes of the show one of her sisters did about where they were losing weight. Did you see that? Chloe. Yeah, she did a show about like revenge yeah, body. Yeah, I thought she. I really. I thought she was good about that. Now I was. I like Chloe. I thought she was the way she like talked to people. I, like, I was very the, respectful. The, it's weird. It's like when you do sort of. It's almost like relating to like an alien in a way right. because they've just had such a different life experience. Totally. It's almost like they're on a different planet than you. I. So I when, think of it like the modern day Mount Olympus. Like those are like Greek gods that like were because they're so mediated too. That's why when you see someone that you've only seen on media in yeah, real life, you're yeah. like, whoa. It's right. also just a person but whoa it's just a human being it's just a human being yeah it's trippy and you gotta i mean the psychological warfare that must go on with them like they must have this like incredible mental fortitude that makes me think that they're maybe aliens or whatever mm. so sometimes like as a regular person when i relate to them it does like in your subconscious somewhere it makes you feel like oh wow it makes you feel good like totally oh, they have feelings and they have they, they're funny sometimes too and they get stressed there was these these emails that got leaked and it was George Clooney, someone like hacked in something and he was like saying, apologizing for a film not doing well. And he's like, I promise like that'll never happen again. Like he was stressed about his career and it's George Clooney. Like he was like, you know, I'll try harder next time. Like Everybody's at, a human being. At every level, someone's like, well, what are they doing? Well, fuck this. That's unless why, they're alien baby blood they're alien drinking babies. Illuminati. Yeah, totally. Did you see this new show that's uh, Hillary Clinton and uh, Chelsea Clinton are coming out with? No way. It looks moving. What is it about? And they go and they meet different. You know who's in it? Megan Farsad. Farsad. I don't know if I'm saying. Oh my yeah, last yeah, name right. yeah. Is this scripted That's or why unscripted? I saw it. it looks like unscripted. It's got to be unscripted. Um, um, I didn't know about that. I'm the trailer. I. You know me. Like I'm like full libtard, and I'm like just a sucker for all of like that. You it's would just, watch this? I think I would. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I've gotten <laughs> such an I, earful not, about Hillary Clinton from. I know. Cause like, that's like the one where it's like when I was in the South and they were like, they, you hear so much about Hillary Clinton. I'd finally be like, okay, fine. But I don't know anything about my cousin Norma's parents knew her in, uh, at Stanford. Her dad did. And he said she was lovely. I don't know. I think it's like, there's some sort of something to be said about somebody like stayed in their marriage after being humiliated. Sure. Oh yeah. Well, we don't know the ins and outs. Right. We don't fucking know what's like, going I on. I think she's like a politically savvy, maybe a little bit of a, I don't know what, I don't know. Well, me, I'll watch show that looks, show too. I'll watch an the episode. The show looks interesting. I don't know what I'm talking Good about. Good for them. Good for them. I didn't know that you, I thought, I always thought of you as like maybe like independent. Yeah. I was joking about being oh. a little turn. <laughs> I didn't know. I was being sarcastic. Oh, I'm so bad at picking up sarcasm. Um, I'm so bad at it. Preacher Lawson and one of the um, waitresses at the stand. Yeah. They were walking by and I was like, oh, do you guys know each other? And they did the thing where they're like, no, we haven't met before. But I could tell right away. OK, they're playing with me. So I was like, OK, sorry, guys. But then they kept running with it. And I was like, hold on. Now I'm confused. Are you guys joking or not? And they just like kept going with it. And then I was on stage and I was still thinking about it. And like she walked in and I was like, were you guys joking with me? And she like pretended to not. She was like. And then I didn't realize till afterwards she was like, yeah, we were being sarcastic. And I was like, okay, but like, I'm st like, I don't pick up on sarcasm. I don't know if it's a dyslexic thing or what. Like, I don't pick up I on it. I didn't lay it on that thick just then. So it's like, it was an easy miss. Okay. I appreciate that. <laughs> I think theirs wasn't like, and I was looking between the two of them and I was like, maybe they thought I was being sarcastic, but I genuinely was confused. It's okay. I don't pick up sarcasm at all. Or if there's an audition, I have to be sarcastic. I bomb. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, no, be sarcastic. And I'm like, what? Like, I just don't know how to do it. It's because sarcasm is certainly like um, a defense mechanism. Right. Or it can be. I'll get angry, but not sarcastic. I do it to people sometimes. Well, you're quick. So you're like, 
I can't even think of an example of somebody. Like, Lexi can be sarcastic. But I had My to, sister is, too. I had to clarify somebody that I was talking to at the dog park recently and say I was being sarcastic. Like, right. Because they were like, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I said. Well, then you feel like a, when someone says that, you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. Sorry. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Because I didn't want them to think that I genuinely felt whatever I had said. Right. Like, I don't, it could have been something a very outlandish. For sure. That I was like, I'm being, I'm being more than sarcastic. I'm right. being silly. Right. I was pretending I was someone I was not to make a like, point. Like one of the boats pulled in. I'm like, oh, there's my guy. Right. I mean, that's not sarcasm. But whatever it was. What do I know? I'm not a professional comedian. I'm a whatever. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Everyone can suck my dick. You're a tan person though god yeah, I damn know, you haven't mentioned my tan should yet, you I even know. get tanner is this even is this good no. you I are s- cooked i need more um i'm gonna put more lotion i started doing this thing where when i shower because of the kardashians i lube myself up with vitamin e oh my oil. god i saw them this went vi- there was something about them talking about their shower process oh my god what did they do i didn't We're watch it in a cult what did, was they it, are leading us do they do something different than the average person does they loofah and then they slather once they're clean so they loofah and they like must clean like soap or whatever sure and then i think they shampoo their hair and condition it i'm not sure um i think they do but then they slather just body oil while they're still in the shower why you put enough of it on you right and mm-hmm. it's just like you still can like rinse yourself off and it'll stay on you mm. and then you sort of like pat yourself dry and then like if you feel like my skin is like moisturized but i didn't have to like put lotion on sure. after i got out of the shower so it's a time saver and I maybe I will like next time I think I'll put lotion on on top of it. That'll feel really good. See, I don't even lotion my body. I don't give a fuck. Once, once my face looks like once I get the Botox face, everything else will just go to shit. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't put lotion on in like fifty two years. I haven't. There, there's no. It doesn't matter. I'm so obsessed with the Kiehl's lotion at Equinox. It's like that is nice. Part of the reason I'm that I'm is a nice. I sent my mom an economy size bottle. She really loves it. That's nice. It's like Kara, I could bathe in this. <laughs> what the fuck? I love if you it. were a guy and you jerked off with lotion, would you use Kiehl's lotion or be like, nah, I'm saving that? Like, that's like, you'd use like the shitty stuff for the jerk off. Or you I feel like if I was a guy who jerked off, I'd use lube. To jerk off? Yeah. I could see you using Kiehl's too. Like, just being <laughs> like, really, like, only the best. Yeah. I mean, only yeah, I best. wouldn't care. I buy the medium bottles. I get it. I get it. All right. Um, do you want to let the PR fans uh, watching where they can find you, how they can support you? Yes. Emma Wilman on TikTok and Instagram. And Facebook. I started posting on Facebook again. Hey, blast from the past. Maybe I should. This like show that I have, they're like, can you post on Facebook? I'm like, I don't even know how to get in back in. I there. hadn't been in Facebook in fucking years. I don't know. It's popping over there. It's kind of like I feel like I went away. I was at, And then I came back and my parents were having a party. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't know that everyone was like in here getting down like that. And it's like a great party. But also, it's another social media platform. So <clears throat> that's my thing. Like. For me, I get it. I can handle like I can handle two Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, and then Pat can handle the other ones. Totally, I get that a hundred percent. I get it because so, uh, someone was like, "Are you on Be Real?" and I was like, "I don't know what that is." No, 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 no. And it's not happening. No, 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 no. It's, it, the, no. Shop, close down shop, <laughs> and we're done. No. Nope. No, no, no more apps. Plug, <laughs> plug more things. I'm, got I've got a bunch of shows coming post. up on the road. Um, everything is at I am Emma Wilman dot com. And hit me up on Instagram. And I always try to say hi and holler back. So funny. Thanks for doing. Thank you show, guys. Emma. Of course. Anytime. Pat. Great work again. It's only, only, it's only she is.